Hallelujah. Let's appreciate God in all aspects of life for His love, for His mercy, grace, for everything He has done, He's doing, and we continue to do. We are not tired. We won't be tired of appreciating His. Father, we thank you. King of glory. Thank you. Bring us of peace. Be the way so Everlasting Father, the I am that I am. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you for life. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for joy. Thank you for mercy. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, worthy Lord. Worthy to be praised, worthy Lord. Started with us, increase your love, mercy, and your presence, increase your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I decrease for your increase. I step up for you to step in. Honor our prayers, our requests, our declarations, and our decrees, and bring it to manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Say in the name of Jesus, I will not be tired. I will not be tired in praising God. In praising God. In honoring God. In honoring God. In worshiping God. In worshiping God. And my Father in heaven. And my Father in heaven. Will not be tired. Will not be tired. In blessing me. In blessing me. Healing me. Healing me. Providing for me. Providing for meeting me. my need. Meeting my need. From day to day. From day to day. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your seat. Today we make it the third time. I want to talk on this topic putting God in remembrance of us putting God in remembrance of us praise God when you look at what is happening when you look at situation of things you know that this time around just Put God to remembrance the good in the past you have, you have done. And let that let God use it to show mercy, to visit us, to bless us. With what is happening, at times it looks like prayer is failing. At times it looks like God is not hearing prayers. At times it looks like the heart of people is fainting. So we said, God, look at the time we did one thing or the other in your house. Look at your love, what Jesus did for us, and show mercy. Praise God. It's not by power, it's not by might. It is by what is spirit. You can hear our sister's testimony as if 
she does one, another one appear. She does one, she did another one, another one appear. And the Lord has been seeing her through, and the same God will see us through. In Isaiah 43, verse 26, with Amplified Bible, with Amplified Bible, what did he say? Isaiah 43, 26. He said, put me, what? In remembrance. And remind me of your merits. Praise God. If you need heaven intervention, God said, remind me. Remind him. If you need breakthrough, God said, remind me. Remind him what he did in the past that he should look at and intervene. Praise God. He said, let us plead and argue together. Set forth your case that you may be what? Justified. Proved right. Good news, Bible. Use the word court. Use good news. You say, let us go to what? Court. Bring the accusation. Present your case to prove you. You are in the right. That thing you have been doing in the secret. Eyes may not know. Eyes may not see. You can present it to God and say, God, not about righteousness. They look at this, I have been doing it. For this reason, show me mercy. For this reason, meet me speedily and reward me so that my enemy will not what mock me praise god if you are paying tight and we are fight, faithful in tight payment you can talk to god and say god you know i have never stopped paying tight i tight all the time and you said those who so tight you will open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing unto them. Apart from that, he said, you will rebook the vara for their sake. Lord, I know I have derailed in other areas, but in the area of tithing, I am faithful. Look at this area and reward me. Your own may be so winning You always draw people to Christ. Praise God. And you take care of them when you bring them to church. And situation has happened and it's like God has forgotten you. You pray, it's like your prayer is not being heard. Talk to him and say, God, you delight in so winning. You love when somebody come to your kingdom and I have been fearful in that area, remember me and answer me in this area. Praise God. There only may be, the Bible will say, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be what? Called the children of God. You are a peacemaker, reconciling people to Christ. A peacemaker, you are not this kind of person that generates war. Rather, you make sure that people are at peace. People have understanding to serve God. You can use it to remind God. Praise God. So, what are those things you have done or you are doing? For Christ. Are you among those who make sure that the church of Christ is marching 
for God? Is there any area you are building for God? Is there any area you are happy doing God's work? Use it to remind God this at this moment. The Bible said, present your what? Your case. When Hezekiah had a bad news, the strongest, the most powerful bad news. Why is it the most strongest? The bad news came from a well reputable prophet that his words are here and amen. Why is it a bad news? The prophet hear clear and always hears clear from God. And it was God that sent him. And the Bible said, every word that came from God's mouth must be what? Come to pass. So God told Isaiah, go and tell Hezekiah to put his house in what? In order. So, Instead of Hezekiah to shout and this, the Bible said, he faced the wall. He faced the wall, began to pray and shed tears. And God told who? Isaiah, go back. He told God, I have done this, I have done that. That is reminding God for what he has done. Can we see it in Isaiah chapter 38, reading from verse 1? Can we see it? About this time, King Hezekiah became sick and almost what? Died. Praise God. There are some of us, we are sick in the area of money. Poverty is all everywhere. Some of us are sick in the area of health. We have I mean, different kind of sickness, just like Hezekiah. What happened? The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to see him and said to him, The Lord tells you that you are to put everything in what? In order. Because you will not recover. Get ready to die. So it's the worst news on earth. Praise God. Is the worst news. What happened in verse 2? Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and did what? Prayed. Let's see his prayers. Verse 3. Remember, Lord, that I have served you what? Faithfully. And what? Loyally. And that I have always Try to do what you wanted me to what? To do. Praise God. So, there are situations when it looks like God turns his back from you. Remind him what you have done. Praise God. And the Bible said he began to cry bitterly. Verse 4, 5. Then the Lord commanded who? Isaiah. To go back to who? Hezekiah. And say to him, I, the Lord, the God of your ancestor, David, have heard your what? Prayer. And seen your what? Tears. I will let you live 50 years longer. Praise God. So what gave more years to him is because of his good deeds. What are your good deeds in the hands of God? It is time to put God in remembrance. Praise God. I don't know what I'm talking to somebody. It is time to put God in remembrance. Also, if you go further, you see Ezekiah. Sorry, not Ezekiah. You see Esther. Esther chapter 6 concerning Mordecai from verse 1. Let's see it. 
That same night, the king could not get to sleep. So he had the official records of the empire brought and read to him. The part they read included the account of how Mordecai had uncovered a plot to assassinate the king. The plot made by the Gatani and Terish, Terish, the two palace enoch who had guarded the king's room. Three, the king asked, How have we honored and rewarded Mordecai for this? His servant answered, Nothing has been what done for him. Praise God. Verse 4, 5. Are any of my officials in the palace? The king asked. Now Haman had just entered the courtyard. He had come to ask the king to have Mordecai hand on the gallows. That was now what? Ready. Verse 5 and 6. So the servants answered. Haman is here waiting to see you. Show him in, said the king. Verse 6. So Haman came in, and the king said to him, There is someone I wish very much to honor. What should I do for this man? Haman thought to himself, Now who could the king want to honor so much? Me, of course. Verse 7, 8. So he answered the king, Have royal robes brought for this man. Robes you yourself wear. Have royal ornaments. Put on your own horse. Then have one of your highest noblemen dress the man in these robes and lead him mounted on the horse through the city square how the nobleman announced as they go see how the king rewards someone he wished to what honor praise god finally maybe verse 10 let's stop at verse 10 then the king said to him and hurry get the robes and the horse and provide this honor for Mordecai, the jew do everything for him that you have suggested. You will find him sitting at the entrance of the palace. Praise God. Remember, Mordecai did something what? Good. So the king need to what? Honor him. So what have you done for God? Use that one to remind God. Am I talking to somebody? Praise God. Every day is not a message of what? Conviction of sin or this and that. Today is remembrance of your good deed. Can we stand on our feet? If you are sitting down to pray these prayers, because of you, I will select the, all the seat back together. I want us to talk to God. What have you been doing in the house of God? What have you been doing for God? Are you a co-laborer with him? Are you a co-worker with him? Or are you a destroyer? This is the time of reward. Open your mouth and talk to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Are you aware? The Bible says we should pray without what? The own may not be money, but you always pray. You always pray. And God is using your prayers to do a lot of things in the realm of the spirit. Praise God. And the day you didn't pray, God may not be happy. There is no other better way to identify with God when you put prayer aside. Praise God. So if you have been praying, don't stop praying. When the time of reward comes, heaven will reward you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every good work, every of your labor in the house of God, with God and for God, you will be rewarded. Praise God. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God. My Father. Forgive me. Forgive me. Show me mercy. And remember. And remember. My good works. My good works. And use it to reward me. Use it to reward me. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are mad and pray. Fading away. Like the stars of like the morning glow, losing in the light, like in the glory like of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thus moving past from the earth of like glory, but only remember that what we like have done. to do with the blood if it's
the storm of the Oh, 
speaking war. The blood of Jesus will be speaking what? Peace. The blood of man is speaking um, death. The blood of Jesus will be speaking life. The blood of man is speaking poverty. The blood of Jesus will be speaking what? Prosperity. Praise God. Amen. There is nothing but what? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. You speak. You speak. You hear. You hear. You see. You see. You do a lot of things. Therefore, for my sake, on my behalf, let there be a good work from you. In my life, mm -hmm. my family, mm -hmm. my brothers and sisters, yes, and sisters, in the body of Christ, in the body of Christ. The divine majesty local, divine majesty, divine majesty worship ministry, divine majesty worship ministry, in my business, my business, in my marriage, my marriage, everything, everything, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, takes over, take over, wash, wash, clean. Place. Purify. Purify. Set free. Set free. Make whole. Make whole. Strengthen. Strengthen. Empower. Empower. Deliver. Deliver. Save. Save. The blood of Jesus. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood. Open your mouth. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Come on. 
Bible says in book of Revelation 12, 11, when there was war from verse 7, when there was war in heaven, then war broke out where? Uh, heaven is a place that God dwells. Have your seat. Heaven is a place that God dwells. Heaven is a place that angels and hosts of heavens dwell. Heaven is the throne of God. But there was a time war broke out. Praise God. Angels are supposed to be at peace. That because of the arrogance of Lucifer and uh, those one thought that he was in charge of there was chaos, there was problem 
The Bible says, Michael, in that verse 7, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Bring it. Let's see it. Don't bring my picture. Bring the word of God. The war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon did not fall down. Who fought back with his what? Angels. Praise God. Why he could able to convert one third of the angels because in heaven there are hierarchical order. Praise God. He was in control of one third of the angel when he has not found himself with pride. So as long as he was in charge of this, so those angels he was in charge of will obey him. Praise God. But what happened? What was the weapon they used? Look at verse 11. The weapon they used, they won the victory over him. By what? The blood of the Lamb and by the truth which they proclaimed. And they were willing to give up their lives and die. Praise God. There are situations you will find yourself with. There are pains and challenges that we will be experiencing in life. Praise God. You have to be, you have to wake up. You have to be awake. The Bible uses the word awake. You have to get yourself up. Rise up. Arise. Take the bull by the horn. Fight the spiritual warfare. Paul told us in, in Ephesians 6, if you read verse 10, he said, Be strong, my brethren. Bring Kim Jen Vashon. Bring Kim Jen Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his word, mind. If you look at verse 11 and 12, he said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise, the tricks, the schemes of the devil. And verse 12 said, verse 12 said, for we wrestle not against flesh. There is war. Whether you know it or not, we are engaged in spiritual battle. And most of the time, it metaphors to physical. You can see what is happening all over the world, mostly in Nigeria. Praise God. These forces and powers steer them up. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities. Against what? Powers. Against what? The rulers of the darkness of this world. This world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Praise God. If you want to make great impact in the body of Christ, in Christendom, as a Christian, you must have understanding of what spiritual warfare is all about. The Bible said the violent take it by force. Praise God. Am I talking to somebody? You must also understand the weapon of the blood very, very well and how to use it. Our sister testified it's as if the sun and the moon and maybe creatures stood against her. Praise God. Is it not written that the sun will not smite day by the day, nor the moon by the night? Most powers, enchanters, diviners, sorcerers, and so on and so on, including occult people, they use these elements to deal with their fellow human beings. And if you don't know how to remove your head from it, it makes a lot of people to die premature death. But one of the things that will save you, if you know how to use the blood, praise God, you will fulfill destiny. The Bible said in, I think, Revelation 5, if you look at verse 9, Revelation 5 verse 9. And they sung 
a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take what? The book. And to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain. Talking about who? Who was slain. What is wrong with you people today? Here is Foster. Praise God. Okay. The Bible said, He was made, I mean, he has made us unto. No, no, no. Verse 9. Go to verse 9. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art what? Worthy. To take the book and and do what? To open the seed thereof. For thou was slain. Redeemed us. To who? How did it happen? By or through what? So anytime you are shouting the blood. If you are among those in the realm of the spirit or in the physical realm, that you are far from God as a result of what? Sin. As you are invoking the blood, as you are still, what? As you have seen us shouting the blood, the drummers are beating, our brothers are using the mic. What are we doing? We are activating. We are stirring it up. Praise God. It's like when native doctors go to their shrine and begin to talk and chant. That is what we are doing. If you don't do it like that, blood of Jesus will not work. What does the blood do? He cleanses you and purifies you and draws you near to who? So in the realm of the spirit, you have paved way for that person. Am I talking to somebody? So, there are a lot of things that happens in the realm of the spirit. So, a lot of people as they are pumping the blood, activating the blood, where, they are, where their eyes and their mind and their spirit cannot reach in life, in the realm of the spirit, they see themselves going higher. Am I talking to somebody? Praise God. And the Bible said, the spirit, the blood, and the water agree in one. Because the water comes from the word, and the word is water. The blood comes from the word, and the blood is what? I mean, the blood is the word. Praise God. Remember, everything came from what? The blood. The spirit also came from what? came from the world. Praise God. For example, 1 John 5, 8. Let's see 1 John 5, 8. 1 John 5, 8. And there are three that bear witness. Where? Number one is what? Remember, Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and what? Okay, followed by what? The water also represents what? The word. John 15, 3. Okay? And the blood. Praise God. The Bible said, this three, what does it do? Agree in one. So when you are pumping this blood, you are not only pumping the blood, you are pumping the what? The spirit. You are pumping what? The water. Am I talking to somebody? Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Devil can't stand it. Devil can't stand the blood. Because as he has said it, he has seen the spirit is at work. The water of life, the word of God is at work. These three agree in one to face any battle and give you victory. And one of the things the devil does is to close the mouth of people from speaking about the blood. Praise God. Am I talking to somebody? Can we stand on our feet? Say in the name of Jesus. All the days of my life. 
Jesus of my life. Here on earth. Here on earth. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Will not depart from my mouth. Will not depart from my mouth. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Will not depart from my spirit. Will not depart from my spirit. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Will not depart from my soul. Will not depart from my soul. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. And the water of life. And the water of life. They agree in one. They agree in one. And they are in my spirit. And they are in my spirit. They are in my soul. They are in my soul. They are in my body. They are in my body. I am a carrier. And a carrier of the blood of Jesus. Of the blood of Jesus. My personality. My personality is blood bank carrier. Is blood bank carrier. Are you there? Yes, sir. As you see me, there is. I am carrying the blood. I am a blood bank carrier of yes. Jesus' blood. Praise God. So when I am speaking, I speak the blood. I might talk to somebody. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Activate it. Activate it. It will move to your community. It will move to your foundation. It will move to first and second heaven. It will even move to the third heaven, where God dwells. To plead and bring your blessings. Praise God. Amen. There are some of our members we have in America. Some of them are sick. Father, as we are pleading the blood of Jesus, let them be healed. There are members we have in Europe, in Asia, in African countries. As we are pleading the blood, the blood of Jesus should move to restore their health. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that the enemy have determined to kill, as we are invoking, activating the blood, let the blood of Jesus go there and destroy the spirit of what? Death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In any form, in any way, spirit of poverty wants to disgrace you, frustrate you, even to the extent of committing suicide, the blood of Jesus will locate that spirit of poverty and what? Destroy it. When you plead the blood with understanding, mm. you will be sweating. Of Are you there? Yes, sir. Because it's part of exercise. Jesus prayed. And in his prayer, he was sweating. In Luke 22, 44. The Bible says the kind of sweat that was coming from him is like thick blood. Praise God. Mm. And being in agony, he prayed more what? And his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. If you study your Bible very well, he prayed this kind of prayer for at least three good hours. Praise God. Yeah. Matthew 26 told us in 41. Let's see Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is what? The Bible says in 42, 43, 44. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, Thy will be done. Saying the same prayer point. Then verse 43. And he came and found them asleep again. For their eyes were heavy. May you not sleep in the place of prayer. And finally 44. What happened? And he left them and went away again. And prayed how many times now? At least each time takes about what? One hour. Which means he prayed at least three hours saying the same words he was saying the same words like the blood of jesus christ the blood of jesus christ am i talking to somebody yes, that is what is called enchantment or invocation am i talking to somebody mm. saying the same thing mm. for three hours you know there are different kinds of prayers praise god Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. We have different kinds of prayers. But the prayers that we make principalities to leave you is this one. Praise God. The prayers that we make the your foundation to give way is this one. You continuously 
persisted being angry in your spirit, saying the same. All of us, sudden, the blood is clearing the way. Say, I hear. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir. Any of us that is sick. Any of us that is sick. Any of our members that is sick. Any of our members that is sick. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that devil want to kill. Anyone that devil want to kill. Anyone that devil want to frustrate. Anyone, Anyone that devil want to frustrate. In any form, in any way. In any form, in any way. Let me hold us in bondage. Let me hold us in bondage. I want to waste life. I want to waste life. I present to the enemy. I present the, the precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. The blood is for our deliverance. The blood, the blood is, is for our deliverance. The blood is for our freedom. The blood is for our freedom. When the blood is presented, when the blood is presented, our freedom is granted. Our freedom is granted. Our deliverance is granted. Our deliverance is granted. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood. Ah, let's go. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yes. The blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. The blood of Jesus. 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 No, 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 no,
Okay. 
Jesus Christ, come on everybody. Your hands, come on, come on. Everybody, everybody. Everybody say, Abara, Abara, Jesus, hey, Abara, Abara, Jesus,
Hallelujah. The blood is working. And we continue to work for us. In Jesus' name. Okay. Praise God. Mm. I have come. Yes. Mm. That brother come. The brother that I was speaking. Persons bring mic, put for his mouth, and close to the mouth of our sister. Praise God. Hallelujah. If your case has been a problem, you have prayed for a long time, it's like no way out. Wherever you are, as I am saying, you join me to say. If you are not saying, forget it. Praise God. What I want to do now, I have not done it before. If I am not, if I am saying, you join me to say what I am saying. Don't say outside what I said. Say what I am saying. If you close your mouth, that is for you. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. Put it in his I want to hear his mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I join my spirit. I join my spirit. My soul. My soul. My body, my body, with Pastor Damian spirit, with Pastor Damian spirit, with Pastor Damian soul, with Pastor Damian soul, and body, and body, and we join our spirit, and we join our spirit, we join our soul, we join our soul, we join our body, we join our body in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Jesus is our master. Jesus is our master. Is our savior. Is our savior. Is our life. Is our life. Is our deliverer. Is our deliverer. Is our healer. Is our healer. Is our hope. Is our hope. Is our salvation. Is our salvation. Without Jesus. Without Jesus. I cannot do anything. I cannot do anything. Now that I join my spirit, now that I join my spirit, my soul, my soul, and my body, and my body with Pastor Damian, with Pastor Damian, in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, we are one, we are one in the spirit, in the spirit, we agree, we agree in one, in one here on earth, here on earth. Therefore. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am joining Pastor Damian. I am joining Pastor Damian in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, to move, to move into the realm, into the realm of the spirit, of the spirit, where my problems, where my problems have been emanating from, have been emanating from, where they are attacking me, where they are attacking me. 
financially, financially materially, materially health wise here yeah, they are attacking my family here yeah, they, yeah, they are attacking my family here they are attacking my wife my husband my children and my loved ones i am in agreement spirit soul and body with pastor damian in christ jesus and we move into the realm of the spirit as we move and we move the blood of jesus christ the blood of jesus christ is our weapon is our weapon is our sword is our sword for destruction for destruction those things those things those powers those powers those spirits those spirits those forces those forces the human form in human form in demonic form in demonic form in satanic form in satanic form that i refuse before now i refuse before now not to let me go not to let me go the blood of jesus the blood of jesus kill them kill them destroy them destroy them shatter them to pieces shatter them to pieces let them burn to ashes let them burn to ashes before this time next tomorrow before this time tomorrow let there be mass death let there be mass death No matter where they're coming from. No matter where they're coming from. Whether from my foundation. Whether from my foundation. Or my family. Or my family. Or my community. Or my community. Or my town. Or my town. Or in the village. Or in the village. Or in the city. Or in the city. Or from the street I live. Or the street I live. Or from the yard I live. Or the yard I live. Or in the church. Or in the church. Or in anywhere. Or in anywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let blood speak. Let blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let blood speak. Let, the, the, the blood speak. Let, Let blood speak. Let there be destruction. Let there be destruction. Let there be calamity. Let there be calamity. For their own destruction. For their own destruction. Now. Now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We multiply ourselves. We multiply ourselves. In the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the spirit, in million fold, in million fold, to different locations, to different locations, to different camps, to different towns, to different areas, to different areas, with the hosts of heaven, with the hosts of heaven, with the angels of the living God, with the angels of the living God, for mass destruction, for mass destruction. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus act with anger, with anger, with anger. If your seat will be a problem, back your seat with anger. The blood of Jesus, one, two, go. The blood of Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. Shout it! 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 Shout it!
toque, que la toque, Laura, 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 Oh, yeah, man. 
See what is going on. That is a heavy war. That is a heavy battle. There is slaughter in the spirit realm. The scripture that has to do with Ezekiel 35 6 is playing its role. Explain is true. Say, therefore, God said, As I live, say the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So that's what is happening in the realm of the spirit now. So thou has not hated, since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Makunde kuya lakatara kuloko shuria rege dege 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 bukute sekula kaba shuria re makunde aha Holy Ghost Jesus kunie 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 Jesus kunie ani ne mechegi bagunora Yes Yes. Oke mwa kunie aha kunie holy ghost kunie is happening all over here jesus kunie aha ani ne mtegi kuna ora aha is happening is happening what's up all the boys ya kunie 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 in the spirit jesus kunie ani ne mtegi ba kuna he got a go sabe kono zaka Jesus kunie aha kunie kunie Jesus kunie ani ne mete gi ba kono hey arise oh no let my enemies be scattered yes arise oh no let my enemies be scattered Let my it's enemies happening. be scattered. Go, go. Aha. Hey. Aha. Aha. Let it, let it, let it. Aha. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Aha. Yes, bro. Aha. 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 Let my enemies be scattered. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh God. 
let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh God. Let your enemies be scattered. Hey. written in Roman 15 from verse 1. What is written there? Look at what is written there. Roman 15 from verse 1. We, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmity of the weak. That's why I carried you in the realm of the spirit and not to please ourselves. Verse 2, 3, 4, 5. What happened? Let every one of us please this his neighbor for his for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Verse 4, 5, 6. For whatever things we are written of time, we are written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Five, six, seven. Now the God of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus. Six. That you may with one mind and one mouth did what glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stop there. This is what is playing in the realm. I didn't show you the scripture, but this is what is playing in the realm of the spirit. I have taken your body and your family. So this is the hour of deliverance. If you cannot be delivered now, forget it. So open up. This is the hour. Angels are at work. The blood of Jesus is at work. Holy Spirit is at work. The word of God is at work. Everybody in the realm of the spirit is at work. Open up. Go ahead. In abundance. And cause your right to fall upon the broken heat. 
and cause your rain to fall on me. Baba, I am in your presence. Let it rain. Lift up your hands. Oh, everybody lift up your hands to Jesus. Let it fall. He got a dose of time. I am in your presence. Hey. Let, let it rain. Let it rain. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Let it fall. Open the floodgates. Oh. Just like 
Like the day of the lottery. Ha! Let your power come. Let your power come. This is the day of the Pentecost. Let your will be done. Oh Lord, you by the grace and the power in the blood of Jesus begin to possess what heaven destined out them. we are in the realm of the spirit where you cannot pass through what we have done now you have already passed it Amen. but begin to possess and how will you start to possess it? the blood of Jesus restore the Bible said in Isaiah I think Forty-two, twenty-two. I think so. He said, "No one said restore." Can we see Isaiah forty-two? Yes. He said, "But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them smeared in hole. It can imagine, and they are hid in prison houses." They are for a prayer and non deliberate. But deliverance has come. Amen. For a spoil and non say it what? Restore. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. My spirit, my, spirit, my, soul, my soul, my body, my body is knighted. 
with the spirit of Pastor Damien and his soul and body and we are in Christ I join him to take me to where I could not be able to pass before now I join him to take me to cross me where heaven destined and ordained for me to possess all my possessions the blood of Jesus Christ restored them the blood of Jesus Christ 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 louder louder the blood of Jesus Christ their goodness their health their strength their peace their joy their life
blood of Jesus continue restoring. Amen. Everyone connected to this commission, no matter where he or she is, no matter where they are, no matter the continent, begin to restore them. Amen. Restore you and I. Amen. Restore our families. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Divine majesty will separate you from anyone who is not adding value to your life and family. They will vanish like smoke. Amen. And you will never think of them anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Divine majesty will not allow you to take steps that will make his promises become void in your life and family. Amen. You are a gift to divine majesty worship ministry. Amen. Divine presence and his grace in your life shall make your enemies afraid. Amen. All your enemies shall fail in all their schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every scheme of the enemy will be thwarted by the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, 
Sin us through. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May divine majesty have mercy upon you. Amen. According to his loving kindness. Amen. And blot out all our transgressions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May he hear our prayer. Amen. And grant all our needs. Amen. And our heart desire Amen. and grant our utterance Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you go and whatever you do, may your guardian angel watch over you and keep you in order. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. of Jesus. Amen. May God, known as divine majesty, go before you Amen. and make the rough roads smooth Amen. on your behalf. Amen. May his joy be your strength. Amen. May his peace fill your heart Amen. from henceforth. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. divine majesty will cause his face to shine on you. Amen. He will no longer be angry with your prayer. Amen. He will no longer be angry with your sacrifice. Amen. Rather, he will always honor your prayer. Amen. According to Isaiah 65 24, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. every inherited high mountain of challenges shall be crushed on your behalf. Amen. Every satanic prediction and expectation over your, over your life will never come to pass Amen. because you have been chosen by divine majesty. Amen. I therefore decree into your life that your eyes will not see evil. Amen. Because you make the little things I do feel as in a big feed, oh, ah. Your grace makes a difference, just to embarrass me, oh. I like it, oh. Is that your testimony? I like the way they leave me, oh. And somebody sit down. Jesus, they say, you make the little things I do feel as in a big your grace, oh, your grace makes a difference to the embarrass me, oh, I like it, oh.
to your hearing. Even Jesus is God himself. But as he was in the flesh here on earth, he never stayed, walk, carry divine assignment without favor from God the Father and man. The Bible says in Luke 2 52, he grew in wisdom and stature and had favor with God and men. If Jesus needs favor, being God, you and I need it more. I decree and declare that from henceforth, favor will pursue you and overtake you. Amen. There is a mention of favor. There is spirit of favor. There is favor as a personality. There is favor of us. In feeling of the spirit. All the parts of favor, including the anointing, including the spirit, the personality of favor, and the infilling of the spirit of favor, let it rest upon you. Amen. We are garment, we are favor as a garment. Amen. Let favor incarnate in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you go with divine favor upon your life, you will never be turned back. Amen. There will be an acceptance. Amen. You will be honored and respected. Amen. Your desires shall be granted. Amen. Signatures will be signed on people on your behalf. Amen. You will be highly recommended for good. Amen. There will be promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. as a man, a woman of favor, angel will visit you now and then. Amen. In the dream world, it will be a conqueror. Amen. In the spirit world, it will be a conqueror. Amen. In the physical world, it will be a conqueror. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I declare and declare that all things are possible unto you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will not be stranded. 
and be delayed in journey of life amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen. it is good well it is well with your children amen. it is well with your wife and husband amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen. nobody will overtake you amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen. the spirit to run still receive it now amen. Amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen. from now on visions and revelations of the almighty will locate you Amen. You will know what to do at every given time. Amen. You will no more misdirected and misguided. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. receive life in your spirit, soul, and body. Amen. Receive divine health in your spirit, soul, and Amen. body. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. thank you, my Father. You. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And finally, open your mouth. And pray for me, my family. I know the reason. Open your mouth and pray. There is no like you. They are engrafting your palms, oh God. You that watches over Israel will never sleep nor slumber. You were divine, Jesus, for there is no one like you. Go see you, go see you, go see you, go see you, go see you. My God, there is no one like you. Go see you, go in Jesus rest name we pray may God honor every good declaration every good prophecy every good prayer you utter from your mouth towards me and my family may heaven honor it and bring it to manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus thank you our father in Jesus name